Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my Stock Signals video for Thursday the 10th of May. Uh, this is taken from our Stock Signals members area. Um, very simply, our members get uh, signals every single day, both long and short, on the fifth wave moves of an Elliott Wave sequence, on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frame. It's the highest probability move in a trend. Also, we give them stock stochastic longs and stochastic short trades so uh, just for an example here on the short fifth wave trades uh, if we click on there the members simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet each day let's have a look at the spreadsheet and see which stock we're going to choose today so as I said before the spreadsheet uh, for the fifth wave moves have 60 daily and weekly time frames um, every single day downloadable and this are these are the um, potential short trades today for on the six minute time frame before the market opens here I've chosen one of these uh, to set up and show you how we go from uh, the basic signal to setting up potential short trade here on the 60 minute time frame so let's have a look at the chart so I've chosen DBD on the 60 minute time frame potential short uh, for those uh, that haven't seen this uh, indicator suite before this is the wave 5 trade uh, indicator suite this is the ninja trader version but it's also available on think or swim trade station and multi charts for our users here um, we had almost a double top um, recently with this April the 19th top here was slightly higher high than this one on the 27th so I've chosen this to isolate the start of the wave count then the software automatically gives you the Elliott wave count We've got a wave one a wave two a wave three and the wave four the members um, signals uh, have specific filters on there three main filters are the wave fours pull back into one of our probability pullback zones we'll talk about that in a minute the 535 oscillator down here has pulled back between 90 and 140 percent that looks really good and the stochastic has pulled back against a false breakout uh, here so this this denotes a really strong bearish move and it's pulled back against there now in 80 percent of the time it really wants to return it's like an elastic band to that overall bearish trend so those are the three basic uh, filters we get there so let's have a quick look on how the trade's setting up so if we zoom in here we can see the wave for us pulled back into our green zone so that's an 85 percent probability if this wave four finds resistance starts to move back down it's going to get 85 percent probably he's going to get into our automated target zones down here around about 1080 um, so that's an 85 percent probability the amber zone is 80 the red zone is 75 percent so with the entry for this we have our 64 moving average low which is the red moving average here these are in advance and so these take the averages of the last uh, the lows of the last six days and skews them over by four days which gives us a conservative entry for this type of strategy so what we're looking for today is for this high not to be broken in the last hour yesterday we had this indices and doji slightly higher high what we're looking for today is for this to open and move down now if it does move slightly higher and form a slightly higher resistance level we just need to adjust the stop loss but for now the stop loss is just below that uh, just above that high sorry at 1325 the entry is at 1236 which is outside the 64 moving average low for the first bar of today's session for Thursday the 10th of May I'm not going to adjust that up every hour um, as the 64 moving average low I think this is a good entry we're below this little uh, support level from yesterday and we've got a nice risk reward into our target zone of 1 to 1.6 uh, maybe 1.7 so everything set up may as well stay conservative um, futures are well, they just took a big dive on, as I'm recording this as the European session opened um, but they are recovering a little bit now so all we're doing is setting these up using these stocks uh, scanner signals uh, to start setting up potential longs and shorts uh, on the 60 minute the daily and the weekly time frame 
So that's it for today. Have a great training day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.